Chitso worked hard every day, carrying tons of heavy truck parts and using heavy equipment to fix dozens of trucks. And after a few months, he noticed that his body started to change. His arms, shoulders and back were becoming bigger and stronger, but he knew that he couldn't leave his other body parts weak. This inspired him to make his other body parts stronger and train them every day. But a gym membership wasn't in his budget, as the money he was making was just enough. That's when he had a brilliant idea of using the truck parts he works with as his very own makeshift gym equipment. Now he works out every single day, training every single muscle while leaving no truck part unturned. In fact, he can do everything that you can do in a commercial gym, like pull-ups, chest presses, and even barbell squats. As a result of his hard work and dedication, he has been blessed with a body that would make even Greek gods jealous. Yet the crazy part is, he just keeps getting stronger and stronger as he has to use his strength every day in his job. Because of this, he became known as Cameroon's jacked mechanic, and the legend that was Mighty Magister was born. But even even in his ultra-jacked state, he still wasn't contented and wanted to put himself to the test and go the extra mile. So he decided to compete in local bodybuilding competitions. And even though he wasn't as big as his competitors, he still managed to dominate the competition. He won because of his aesthetic physique, to which he had a small waist and a wide and muscular upper body, giving the illusion of being bigger than he actually is. Today, he still works as a mechanic, but he's also a supplement brand ambassador and a full-time social media personality, having hundreds of thousands of followers on his Instagram account. Yet, despite proving himself as a demigod amongst mechanics, some people believe that his physique is too good to be true. His naysayers accused him of using steroids because it's not exactly an easy feat to naturally get really big and muscular without gaining any fat. But in the Magister's defense, his followers backed him up and stated that getting gear in Cameroon is hard and it's very expensive, so there's no way that Magister would even consider doping. Other fitness gurus also also stepped into his defense, stating that Africans are just built different since they're born with such godly genetics. Yet regardless, if he's on steroids or not, there's no way to get a body like he has without superhuman passion and dedication. But what do you think?